Greetings everybody, I'm Daniel Cox from Natural Exposures TV coming to you from the Faroe Islands where I've been here working for the last three weeks and I've had a couple of opportunities, actually three different opportunities in the last two weeks where I've been able to test the Olympus OM-1 and the 150 to 400 millimeter lens on birds in flight. And birds in flight is something that I love to do, it's a challenge it's a lot of fun, it's exciting, and it's always like Christmas because you just never know what you're going to get. It's not easy to find situations where you can do birds in flight, where you have the ability to consistently see your subjects, start out at a distance, and watch them come towards the camera, hopefully the camera locking on and giving you the opportunity to photograph them from point A to point B, which is where the camera's at. It's not easy. It's really a difficult situation to find consistently. I've had three different opportunities here in the Faroes, and it's given me a really good indication of how this camera performs in what we call predictive autofocus. Predictive autofocus meaning the camera grabs the subject, stays with that subject as it moves towards the camera, and predicts where the subject's going to be so you've got a nice sharp, razor sharp picture when the shutter is tripped as you take the picture. In these situations, I've been struggling a little bit. Photographing birds in flight is, is not easy. It's hard to keep especially fast moving birds in the viewfinder. And so you're hoping that if you do your job, that the camera does its job by focusing properly. And like all birds in flight, I'm seeing that neither one of us are doing a perfect job. It's hard to keep these fast birds in the viewfinder. In particular, we've been photographing puffins, and they move like little footballs that are extremely fast and hard to keep in the viewfinder. So let's go over the settings I've used for birds in flight. First of all, the autofocus pattern is set to all. That's where the entire frame in your viewfinder has got autofocus sensors going, and it doesn't matter where in the frame the bird is, it's going to try to lock on and focus. Subject detection is set to bird, which is the setting that Olympus gave us specifically for birds, and it works quite well. Um, in particular, it works really well against a bright, clear sky with nothing in the foreground. Autofocus continuous, no subject tracking. I've done a lot of studying on the internet with other people who are shooting birds in flight. From what everybody is saying and from what Olympus says in Europe, the autofocus tracking option for uh, birds in flight is not necessary. So I shot none of it with autofocus tracking on. And it might be something that I'll try in the future if we get some more opportunities. Eye detection frame is on and autofocus sens sensitivity was set to plus two. In the situations that I've been shooting in, I've struggled a little bit with the end results being as razor sharp as I think they should be. So the last time I went out to shoot, I set the autofocus sensitivity to plus two. Autofocus scanner is set to on, and autofocus priority or release priority is set to off. In other words, when the camera doesn't think the subject is in focus, it won't fire. Now I will tell you that I had many frames where the camera was firing, and when I looked at those frames, they were not in focus. Everything, again, I've read from other people shooting these situations, they've turned that off, and so I did the same. So let's go over to the computer and take a look at these three different situations where I was photographing birds in flight. Today we had another opportunity for great flying pictures, this time with puffins. What I thought I'd do is I'm going to go through these pictures, and we're going to go through mostly the flying ones, and I'm going to click on things that I would look at. One of the things I mentioned to my students is basically I look for body language. Body language would be like how the wings look, how... See, you can tell this one's got different body language from this one. This one, the wing is cut off, so I wouldn't look at that one. So it's body language that I'm looking for, mainly body parts not missing. And so I, what I thought I'd do, instead of going through every one of these images and showing which ones are sharp and which ones are not sharp, I'm going to go through here, just like I would do if I'm looking at this quickly and seeing something that I'm hoping is sharp. All right, so I'm going to look at this one. Here's one that's in flight, better than all the rest of them. It's closer than this one, better body language than this one. It's coming in. I'm going to double click on it and see if it's sharp. And as you can see, it's not sharp. This is the way I'm going to go through these pictures because this is really what determines whether the camera is successful or not. It's one thing to get, let's say, lots of sharp images, but it's another to get the image that is razor sharp. But I want to just show you the OM-1 predictive autofocus. There's another one that's got pretty good body language. It's almost sharp, but not quite. If you look at these pictures, I shot everything at 3200th of a second. That one's not sharp enough to keep. So I'm going to put an X on that. I'm going to put an X on that. I'm going to just X the ones that I look at. And if they're not sharp, we're going to X them. So here's a series 
where they're pretty similar as far as body language. I'm going to look at this one and see that it's some people would keep this but it's getting an x from me because it's not as razor sharp as it could be we're going to go through some more here's kind of a cool one let's check it nope it's not in focus remember we're using continuous autofocus we've got the bird detection feature set up in the camera we are using all af in the viewfinder at least for these first series of pictures i'm going to click on this one check this all right, this is razor sharp. Look at the detail in the feathers around the eye, etc. That one is is perfectly sharp and luckily in good position in the frame. The one just before it is just slightly out, so we wouldn't accept that one. Thankfully, this one is. Let's look at this one. Mm, I am going to mark it as an autofocus. The bill looks like it's sharp focus. The eye does not. The feet look like it's in focus. Let's see what we shot that at. That was 400 millimeters. So we're looking at 800 millimeters and you want a shutter speed at least 800th of a second. So 1600th of a second would be one stop above it. 3200th of a second would be two stops. So that should be stopping all camera movement. That's razor sharp. Give that a three. All right, so let's just keep on going through some of these body language in this one's nice compared to the first one razor sharp okay that's a three all right so see like here's the body language in these here's a nice image but let's just check it for sharpness unfortunately he's too close and it's razor sharp i'm not going to keep it but it's razor sharp that's soft okay let's keep going that one's razor sharp. Okay, that's completely out. Completely out. Out. Here, the camera selected the bird in front, and it's razor sharp, so we would keep that. Yeah, these, you know, the bodies, the wings are, well, it's out anyway. Out. Out. That one's sharp. That one's sharp. Although we wouldn't use that one because it's got the puffin's head in the frame. You, I suppose you could possibly crop this but I don't think it's quite sharp enough to crop this is nice body language and that's sharp Should give that a three and so I hope you get the idea of how I would look through these pictures and when I shoot like this I decided to record this little clip because I thought you know I'm going to show people how I would go through all of these images which there's 1900 images when I'm going through them I don't need to see if these are sharp as I go through looking for body language in this bursts and I check the ones I really like to see if they're razor sharp and that one's razor sharp it was a productive day but not as productive as I kind of hoped that's razor sharp so now you get an idea of how I look at this stuff